everyone and welcome to back to more No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm just going to be going over what I did in this episode. And I, uh, I made a list this time. I'm really going to make lists now. I'm going to make, I'm going to make more lists. We're going to have so many lists. We're going to have the best lists. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm really, <laughs> I first start by naming off creatures, right? So the first thing I do is start naming off all the discoveries I made at the beginning of the episode. And, uh, I, I just did, um, I called something sword Le Le Weef. It was really obnoxious. <laughs> it was like a misspelling that I couldn't, the, the funny thing is it was a misspelling that I just couldn't be bothered to fix. Like, I just don't care about naming. I don't know what it is. I try to, I'm trying to be like creative. I'm trying to think of like, but these things that I'm trying to name, I just don't care. That's part of the problem. <laughs> and I just, I just find it amusing while watching myself, uh, like come up with these names. Uh, and, uh, I accidentally take off my helmet. Um, when I go to a monolith, I think it's a monolith. It might've been something else. Uh, but it was a, it was a, um, knowledge place. Um, and, uh, I take it off because there's these, I don't know, weird insect things are crawling into my face and I want to remove them. So I take off my helmet. That was the wrong choice apparently because it did damage to me. Um, and I run into some creatures, uh, feet that eat heridium. And I decided to feed them heridium. I don't know. I don't know if that was any value. I really don't understand. Like, sometimes if you feed the creatures, they give you stuff, but then other times they don't. That's how I got the Omegacron, uh, which is apparently a really rare isotope that I just have now. And I, I, I have no idea what to do with it because I only have, like, a little bit of it. So I don't know if I even know if I, I, I don't have anything to do with it. I should just sell it is what I should do. But I don't. I just, it's just all, all the, ah, it's just annoying. That I have this thing, although it probably sells for a lot. I haven't, I, I honestly haven't checked uh, recently. But uh, I continue to explore points of interest. That's really what you do in the game. You just kind of go around, going to the points of interest, discovering new places, um, getting money because you discover them. Then also uh, collecting all the resources that are there, uh, scanning any animals. I, I've kind of stopped scanning animals. I almost have all of them at this point. I'm only missing one. Uh, and I, I spend some time here. I get 20 words. Uh, I know 20 words now at this point. I, I know a few more at, at later in the episode, but like, I'm starting to get a, a good vocabulary going. I still don't have nearly enough to have a conversation with any of these aliens. It's annoying. I do. So I sell some things at this station. Uh, I do. Um, this was a, I think this was a previous spot we'd been before and i got a gun i got a new uh, multi-tool here and uh we went back because i forgot to save the point so you have to save the game there to register it or to discover it and so i didn't do that so we went back and we sold some things and um i it comes to the question of whether like when do you leave a planet to go to another planet because there's just like there's just so many things that you could do on one planet. And like, I want to go, I want to go discover new things, but I also have so much, I, I don't want to leave anything undone. I guess it's the, I think I said this in the last, this is the completionist in me. It's the one that wants to complete things in a game. And, and I, I feel like you can't do that. You can't have that kind of mentality with this game because you're never going to complete everything. You're just going to have to deal with the fact that you're going to have to leave things behind and just accept it. Uh, and so we spooked, we found, there was a really interesting place I, I discovered, actually. This is the first time I was like, whoa, this is really new <laughs> in this game. You know, what is it, nine episodes in, we're, we're finally being surprised by something. And these, there was these platforms for, um, it was like a trade hub. And I wish you could save points because I can't find it again. Uh, because once you discover a place, it kind of grays out and you, you'd have to go find it. And I wish there was a way that you could like go, okay, bookmark this place because I want to be, I want to come back here. Because it was a good place to go see what ships there were. And to see, uh, and for a, uh, for a trade center. It has a, it had a trade, uh, terminal. 
Uh, it's very similar. To, it's basically the planet version of a space station. Uh, we haven't been to a space station in the in this game yet, but I did discover one earlier um, in in a later playthrough uh, that I've done, and and the, it's basically a outpost for lo looking for ships and selling your things, and that's great. Um, and I kind of wish I could go back to it. Um, and the, the game actually gives me uh, a, a milestone called Space Trucker, which I found amusing because it made me want to play another game. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, you know, there's another game I could be playing. It's, it's in space. It's in space Trucker. Far, far more interesting trade uh, mechanics in that game than there is in this one. Uh, then there's, um, I'm trying to buy ships. And I don't think the landing platforms work the way that I think they do. I'm trying to call my ship up because I want it close by so I can tr transfer things easily. And again, it's one of those things where I'm trying to... I transfer a lot of stuff onto my person because I want to um, put it onto the new ship that I want to purchase. Uh, but you don't have to do that. When you purchase a ship, you can transfer things then. And so that's a that's a good time to do it. And so... I'm looking. I'm looking to buy a new ship because I want a new ship. I want more inventory slots in my in my ship, and all these ships are too expensive. And so I, it's a fail adventure. I try to try to do that, but it, I don't. I don't get it done. I named some more things. I'm really bad at naming. Uh, it's just really anno annoying. Um, I'm really annoyed. I did manage to increase my inventory. Uh, in my in my personal inventory. And I actually am going to be spending a lot of time doing that because that's a good way of just increasing your capacity. And I actually use my inventory slots to fill up with all the trade stuff that I'm going to sell. And then I go and sell it. So that's kind of where I'm going with this game. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.